Hey guys, every type of video here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Windows on your Chromebook. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win this Chromebook. To do this, you will require a USB drive and an access to a Windows or Mac computer. Other than that, let's get started. So the first step is to enter developer mode. Keep in mind that this will delete everything on your Chromebook, so you want to back up all your files. So to enter developer mode, you want to hold down the escape key, whilst holding down the refresh key, and tapping on the power button. Keep a hold of the escape and the refresh key. Once you see Chrome OS is missing or damaged, you want to press Ctrl D. Then you will see Turn OS Notification Off, press Enter. Once you see OS Notification is off, you want to press Ctrl D. Now you just need to wait a few minutes. So once it has finished, you want to tap on Ctrl D. That took around 36 minutes, it may take more or less time for you. Once the Chromebook is back on, you want to sign into your account. So once you have signed into your account, you want to close this. And you want to hold Control, Alt, and then press the T button. That will bring up this screen. And you want to type in Shell. All the commands will be available in the description. Now you want to type in this command. And now you want to make a backup of your Chrome OS if you ever want to go back to stock Chrome OS. This is, this is necessary. And now you just want to wait a few seconds. Once you see success, you want to close this. You want to head over to your files manager, head over to downloads, and you'll see a file. You want to make a backup of this, so put this into your Google Drive or into a USB drive. So then if you ever want to go back to Chrome OS, you will need this. So the next step, you need to turn off your Chromebook. Once you have turned off your Chromebook, you want to flip it around and you want to unscrew all the screws. Once you have removed all the outer screws, there will be two screws left. One, uh, this one, and one underneath the sticker. Now keep in mind, once you remove the sticker, it will void your warranty. Now once all the screws have been removed, you're going to need to open the back cover. To do this, you want to head to the back of the Chromebook and put your nails into here and just apply a slight prying motion onto it. And you should hear clicks and you want to go around all the edges, making sure to unclip the clips. Once this has been taken off, you can place this to the side. And now we're inside the Chromebook. We will want to remove the right protect screw, which on the Acer C720 is underneath this wire right here. Um, for your Chromebook, you might need to do some research if you're not sure where the right protect screw is, but we need to remove this in order to be able to install Windows. So once you have removed the right protect screw, as you can see it's not there anymore, you can put the cover back on and screw all the screws back in. So 
So once you have screwed all the screws back in, you can flip the Chromebook around and turn it back on. Once you try to turn it back on, you will get the screen. You want to do Control D. So once you have signed in, you want to do Control Alt and then press the T button again to open up the terminal. And then you want to type in Shell. And now you want to copy and paste the code in the description. Once you've got the command, press enter. You will see this. Just keep waiting. And once you see this, you want to click on three. And then you want to click Y. And then click Y again. And you want to click No since we've already made a backup. Now we just wait. Once you see the message in green, you want to click on enter and then you want to click on P, type in P. This will turn off your Chromebook. Once your Chromebook is fully off, you want to press the power button to start it. And as you can see, if you get a bunch of messages like this, it means it has worked. So you want to power your Chromebook back off again and you want to head, head over to your Windows or Mac computer. So once you are over on your Windows computer, you want to head over to the link in the description or type up Windows 10 installation media. Then you want to click on download now. Once it's finished downloading, you want to click on it. And then click on yes. At this point you want to plug in your USB. Once you see this, you want to read through this and click on accept. Once you see this, you want to click on create installation media and then click on next. Then you want to select your language, the edition you keep as Windows 10 and, the, and then you want to select 64 bit and then click on next. And then you can select USB flash drive. Now you want to select your USB. So mine is F drive. Yours may be different. And now you just need to wait. Once you see this message, you want to click on finish and then you want to unplug your USB. Now you want to head back to your Chromebook. Once you are back at your Chromebook, you want to get the USB flash drive you install Windows on and plug it into your Chromebook. Then turn it on and keep tapping escape. Now, once you're here, you want to go to boot menu and you want to select your USB and then click enter. Once you see the screen, you want to plug in a USB mouse. Then you want to get the mouse and click on next. And then click on install now. Now you just want to wait. Now once you see this, you can either enter a product key or click on I don't have a product key. Then you want to select one of the Windows versions. I'm going to be selecting Windows 10 Pro. Then click on next. Then you want to read through the license terms and accept them. 
and then click on next. And at this point you want to select custom install. Now you'll see all these partitions. You want to delete every single one of them. Once you have deleted all the partitions, you want to click on next. And if you're wondering how I have 120 gigabytes available, check out the video in the corner right there. Now you just need to wait for, for your Windows installation. So once you see this, Windows has successfully been installed. You want to select your language, click on yes, and select your keyboard layout, click on yes, and then you can choose to do this or not. I'm just going to click on skip. So once you have set up Windows, at this point you can unplug the USB. and you just want to wait. And as you can see, it says battery is really low. So I'm just going to go and plug it in. So I have um, plugged in my Chromebook now. As you can see, it's running Windows. Windows 10. As you can see, I've got 118 gigabytes available and to see how you can upgrade the storage in your Chromebook, you can check out my video. But now we want to install all the drivers for it. So just head in the description and download all the drivers onto your USB drive. So I have installed all the drivers on my USB now and I will plug it in. And as you can see, the audio driver is already installed by itself. So the first driver I'm going to install is the touchpad driver so I don't have to use a mouse. So I just click on yes, select all of them, click on install, install. And as you can see, the trackpad moves now. So the next thing I'm gonna install is the chipset. So I'm gonna extract that. Click on next, accept, install, and yes. And go back to the USB drive and install the graphics driver. And then we just restart the computer. And that's us finished. That's Windows 10 installed on a Chromebook. So now we can talk about the giveaway. So if you head over to the description, you will see a link to a giveaway page. And if you click on that, you will see some steps you have to do to get entries. The more entries you have, the higher chance you have of winning this Chromebook. The giveaway will end on the 20th of December. I will make sure to remove any passwords or anything on it before I give this away. Also make sure to subscribe and like the video if it has helped you. And thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.